Yo, ah. the thing goes grrr, pop, 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 pop. Skitty, kick, pop, pop. and the poop, 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 boom. Back to the daily grind. Thanks for checking out the channel. Make sure to hit subscribe if you're new and hit thumbs up if you're not a baby back bagel biting bitch boy because you know what time it is. It's full time. MMA. Conor McGregor, whose shadow was looming over the higher card of UFC 218, and I'll explain why in a second, has came out and traded shots with the current UFC undisputed featherweight champion Max Holloway, who just defended his belt for the first time at UFC 218 when he knocked out Jose Aldo in the third round for the second time. Now, this is all very interesting when Conor McGregor took to Twitter after to low-key throw some shade on Max Holloway a little bit if you want to say he took a shot at him man because if you didn't know Conor McGregor is the last person to beat Max Holloway before Max Holloway went on a 12 fight winning streak became the UFC's interim featherweight champion and then beat Jose Aldo became the UFC's undisputed featherweight champion and now defended the featherweight belt for the first time in multiple years because as a lot of you know when Conor McGregor knocked out Jose Aldo in 13 seconds to become the the UFC's featherweight champion, the belt was never defended as Conor McGregor moved up to fight for another belt in another division and then moved out of the sport to fight Floyd Mayweather and has since yet to even defend his lightweight belt and has been stripped of his featherweight belt. So Conor McGregor has, a lot of you know, never defended a belt which is why Max Holloway had to fire back here because Conor McGregor posted on social media he said I missed those sunglasses talking about the picture that Max Holloway you know I believe posted on his social media and you know Max Holloway's got the black guys Conor McGregor's talking a little shit well Max Holloway got word and was like yo what the fuck is this dude really coming at me bro because you know Max Holloway said I'm not gonna mention Conor McGregor's name I'm not gonna fucking use him to build my name up I'm gonna make my own star and since then he's done that fucking undisputed champion defended his belt and now a lot of pressure was on conor mcgregor because ariel helwani asked um max holloway at the post fight press conference so max holloway how does it feel to do something conor mcgregor's never done actually a couple of things for one you rematched jose aldo and for two you've defended a title Ooh, god damn ariel helwani with the hot questions of course max holloway answered but um, Max Holloway responded to Conor McGregor on Twitter afterward and he said, Missed the sunglasses? I bet you also missed 2015, brother. Retired fighters love the past. Damn, take his shots at Conor McGregor, who we do not know if he's coming back, if he's retired, if he's going into the sunset, if he's going into witness protection. We don't know what the fuck's going on with Conor McGregor. All we know is he hasn't been back to MMA in over a year. Somebody said the 12-month deadline has passed. Conor McGregor has not fought MMA in over a year. And which means he has not defended his lightweight title in over a year, which means he will either have to defend or vacate pretty soon, regardless of Dana White saying that's not the case. But let me get to the fact of Conor McGregor's shadow looming over this entire card, not just the main event all over Holloway, because Conor McGregor's beat both of those guys. And they're both fighting for the featherweight championship, which Conor McGregor vacated or was stripped of, however you want to say it. But no, because not only was it the Aldo fight, what about the Eddie Alvarez Justin Gaethje fight? When you're watching that fight, you're low key like, damn, this kind of, you know, you it kind of think makes you think of Conor McGregor because Eddie Alvarez just fought Conor McGregor, lost his title to Conor McGregor at UFC 205, and Justin Gaethje was a fucking rising star prospect undefeated, and it was like, yo, if he wins. He might be fighting Conor McGregor. So the Eddie Alvarez, Justin Gaethje fight kind of had Conor McGregor's shadow looming over it, as well as the Max Holloway, Jose Aldo fight, which were two of the you know biggest fights of the night. Now, of course, Francis Ngannou versus Alistair Overeem is literally the biggest fight of the night, and actually still took the fucking world by storm with everything that happened. That's the thing about heavyweights. That's why they make the big money, I guess, because. As much crazy shit that happened, as much MMA implications and future fight implications as all of these matches have, it's hard to really think about much other than that fucking Francis Ngannou knockout laying Alistair over him out. Holy smokes. That, it, it, it literally just takes your breath away fucking thinking about it. It's crazy, dog. Francis Ngannou, he's going to get the next title shot. I mean, it's fucking, some people are saying he's not ready for Stipe. Some people are saying, I don't know, I'm pretty sure he's ready for Stipe. Who knows, man, but this isn't a Francis Ingle video, even though he kind of fucking snuck his way in there. Um, Conor McGregor has traded shots with Max Holloway 
on social media, which is, hey, as Max Holloway said, I'm not saying his name. He's going to have to say my name. And now it's been, he didn't say his name technically, but you get the fucking point. He said he misses those sunglasses and posted a picture of Max Holloway on his Twitter in a fucking wheelchair with the black eyes. How can you not love Conor McGregor? Yo, that shit is fucking hilarious. But at the same time, bro, you got to get back in that octagon, defend that title, because we got another person on an 11-12 fight winning streak waiting for Conor McGregor, the current interim UFC lightweight champion, Tony Ferguson, El Kukui. So while you're fucking posting pictures of the featherweight champion, you got a lightweight champion waiting in the wings. Fuck you, Tab Matt. When that being said, it is what it is. Let the full-time family know what the fuck you, Tab Matt, in the comments. I'm out. Da-da-da-da-da! It's the motherfucking D-O-double-G!